All right. Let's get into this. All right, so I uh, just had a little five minute setup. I had to send out some call outs. I know this is a Saturday morning stream, so I don't know if anybody is watching or listening, but even still, the show must go on. Um, if you watched the last part where we left off, we are partway through the second area, uh, the Promenade of the Condemned. And we are just making our way through. We've already explored the whole upper part, which is what I usually do. There are definitely some items we need to get and uh, some exploring we need to do in the sub-basement. And all of this is to get more cells and upgrade and get new equipment uh, and just get better at the game. This game is all about repetition. It's all about reflexes. It's all about learning the movements of your enemies. And so... Uh, just so you know, this is a, these are usually good spots when there are uh, <clears throat> when there are birds around. There are no birds here, but there are some floors that have birds, and you can use this elevator to get a trophy. You can also use this elevator to kill yourself if you want, which you know I only recommend for a trophy. I do not recommend it for kicks and giggles because it's not really fun. Lots of rolling around now. Uh, I better take care of these guys first. Lots of dodging. Remember, you always want to take care of the uh, the little dummy first. Oh. And you always want to dodge when that guy zips up to you, or you will get killed. Now you might. I've noticed a little door over here. This is a boss cell door. You see there's two little notches here that uh, show you that you need two boss cells in order to open it. It will not open until then. And these doors, they'll hold everything from items. They'll hold uh, challenge room, not challenge rooms, but rooms full of bad guys. They will hold cells. Um, you never know. Sometimes it's a passage to a level you can't normally re reach from this area. I have all kinds of stuff, but you we can't open that until we reach two boss cells. We're at zero boss cells, zero BC, as it is right now. Uh, and that means we are at the tutorial level, the very easiest setting or difficulty. Uh, two BC, I guess, would be like a medium. If one BC were normal and this were easy. They give them different names, but I always forget what they are. So I'm just going to go by BC names. All right, let's continue on. So we can't go in there. Uh, one thing you also want to do that I'm terrible oh look at that at doing is finding secret areas and those are signified by you see the little green leaves inside the walls those will tell you uh, who uh, that there's a secret there so you just run through that little area roll in usually sometimes you can use your head I can't do that yet because I don't have that power um, but yeah, and there was something else I was going to tell you, but I don't, oh, embedded in the walls, you constantly want to be looking for little symbols floating around. I'm terrible at doing that, but, uh, yeah, wish you luck. All right, so we're doing red. We could do the nutcracker. We could do the bloody sword. You don't buy it the first click. The first click you just click, you just look. Now the Nutcracker is about 105. I guess that the exact math is 109 DPS, but it doesn't move as quickly. And then your target has to be stun frozen or mobilized. I have no ice items, and red doesn't usually have ice. Uh, usually ice is with purple and green. So that's not really a good use, not worth buying. Oh, he gave me the uh, Vorpan for free, which the Vorpan here is definitely not better than the uh, Twin Daggers, but this you can see it, this one gives you, the Vorpan gives you critical hits when the enemy's facing you, which is definitely a dangerous area to be in because people will hit you. But if you like that sort of thing, you can do it. I'm just gonna leave it, I don't need it. Time to teleport back up. I'm gonna teleport up here and uh, oh, 
I still can't cash it and stuff. That's really annoying. I really need to unlock that that ability. All right. Uh, another thing that you can get is in this area. Oh, I can't get up here because I can't climb. So never mind. I'll show you another day. But when you look at the map, you can see that rose up there. You can use that to unlock. Um, oh, I'm blanking. You unlock something. <laughs> but I can't remember in this moment. Oh, right. You are, so you use that flower, that rose key. There are two more secret hidden secrets and then you open it there and that allows locked doors you know and at the end of that there's an item there's also a blueprint at the end of one of those which is also you know it's a good one to have i think it's the explosive arrows explosive crossbow which i don't use very much but it's still nice to unlock it i like to unlock stuff oh i can't get that money i forgot uh here's another spot that's a, a rose but we can't get to that so it doesn't really matter so moving on uh, here's another spot. Alright, time to go down for some more fun. Alright, next scroll, and as we were collecting before, we're doing survival. No, brutality. The survival is green. We're doing brutality, working on the offense. Since that's what it is, here's, this is BC4 door you are not going to be getting that for a while we're not going to be getting that for a while actually when i play my four and five bc play through i'll definitely do that and we can't go through there we don't have that ability yet so headed to the next area hey what's up brian brian and it's trakes i don't know exactly how to say that I actually started your first tutorial video this morning. Real good stuff, teaching me tips I had no idea about. Hey, Brian, I am so glad that uh, you checked it out, and I'm glad it helped you. I'm really hoping that this kind of helps some people get over the hump, because there's definitely a level, uh, a level spike in this game that some people can't always get by. That was close. I almost hit myself. Oh, and I can't go up here either. I'm so not used to having these abilities. So anyways... Uh, so if I can give you some information to help, uh, that's great. Glad to hear. And then it's Trakes. Welcome to uh, uh, the stream. If you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, feel free to share. Yeah, man. Uh, I love this game as well. Um, and I remember the first time I played this, probably the the first difficulty and the second difficulty, 0 BC and 1 BC, I feel like I spent forever. And then eventually just stuff started to click and I got it. Now I'm playing 4 and 5 BC um, and it's amazing. So in this game, one thing that I mentioned the last stream but I want to mention again, any weapon that has burn or poison or bleed uh, you want to just you want to unlock that bad bear. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to recycle. So I am unlocking recycling, and then I will unlock fire grenades next time around. Uh, the Spartan sandals. I've used that a little bit, but they are a very close melee weapon. That is really just your foot, and the weapon itself is your sandals, I guess, and you just kick people. If they hit a wall, if they fall off the edge, it's pretty good, but I don't find it to be particularly... I find it to be better as a support weapon than it is as your main melee weapon. And then the fire grenade is always good for starting fires and burning folks down. So definitely check... definitely recommend unlocking that. And again, shields... shields aren't my deal. I am going to learn them eventually, but this ice shield is really good for freezing guys, which can help you in the long run to uh, hold off the enemies when they're trying to kill you uh, so I'm just gonna keep with the red I don't really need the killer instinct one but it's gonna get better as I keep getting red scrolls so I'm just gonna get it I don't need any ammo and I'm not far enough along that I really need dead inside yet but dead inside is a really good one when you just need extra life to last longer the only downside is you can't use food which is a bummer and I guess I did get hit once or twice, thus ruining my chances of opening the door. The challenge door, or the 
Hit streak door, I guess is what it's called. All right, on to the ramparts we go. The third biome that you can access. This one in the higher levels, God bless you, son. This one in the higher levels is a pain in the tuchus. There are so many birds and bad things coming to kill you and eat you. Not a fan. Oh, look, an elite. What's his name? Well, we just beat him up. Nice. When you feel called out with the dead inside one. Yeah, I usually use it right before I'm going to fight a big boss. Like uh, the Hand of the King or even the Timekeeper, depending on how strong my weapons are. Got my next rune. Unlock custom mode. Custom mode is super important, but I'm not going to talk about that one yet. Because we don't really have enough gear to really vouch for custom mode. But I recommend it very much so. Later on. Uh, but as I was saying, with Dead Inside, I only use it when I know I'm not going to really need food all that much. Or I'm using tactics and my HP is really low. That's about the only time I use it. Again, right now my weapon is pretty strong. I don't really need to use my other stuff, but I would get in the habit of using my equipment. And like the Promenade of the Condemned, I like to just do the whole upper area because you get all your scrolls and you get to lay out of the land. Uh, in my off, I, I'm not offered the Brutality Scroll, which is what I prefer to use uh, right now in this run. And again, when you're not getting the scroll of the color that you're focusing on, you always focus on a color. Never spread out your scrolls for fun. Only do it. Only spread out the scroll colors when you have to. Um, since I'm going for red, that's what I'm focusing on, but I don't have that option. So I go with the one that gives me higher HP, which is tactics or purple in this case. So again, we're just kind of getting a lay of the land, running across the top, killing some fools. Always use the door, and then down below is my least favorite character in the game. I don't remember his name. All I know is he's hit me so many times with this little purple missile that I've lost count. How many times he's ruined a hit streak that I've had in the past. You can duck those arrows just so you know, so keep that in mind when you're playing. And always, always down. Always, always stomp the ground. Almost always, I guess. There are some times when there are spikes. And you will uh, hit them and it hurts real bad. But nine times out of ten, you want to slam the ground and just knock everything around you. You do not want to fall. And, uh, you know, when you fall too high, that's when you get knock you get dizzy and you can get hit real bad all right brian in general do you work more for speed running the levels to get the bonus door for time or do you prefer to take your time and get the door for hit streaks um so that varies it depends on what your goal is if your goal is to just farm for cells i'll do the timed doors and that really only covers for me, my preference is to do the time doors up until the concierge, which is the first boss. And I, I have done that. I went through like a, a 50 or 40 run streak where that's all I did was the time doors with the concierge because I just wanted to get cells to farm them. And uh, eventually we're going to get access to our, um, our whatever it's called. I'm blanking on the name of it. Our, the blacksmith, I think his name is. Whoever it is that helps you, um, whoever helps you get better gear, base gear, to get your plus plus and your S gear. Um, I hate this guy. Yay, we got initiate, I think. I'll support. Uh, but yeah, when I'm wanting to just farm cells, I do the time doors. When I'm not and I just want to improve uh, those kind of things. 
and practice the levels than I do the I try for the hit streaks. I find more satisfaction in that and uh, overall it helps me get better. So that's an example of secrets in the ground that you need to look out for. They have the little symbols and you just stomp them up and get your money. But it all depends on your playstyle as well. Some people don't have the patience to do the hit streak or can't get the dodge or the shield down good enough. Uh, the time one is definitely easier and saves time, so nothing wrong with that. Alright, there's Frostbite, which is a green mutation. There was another symbol. Again, I am not very good at getting seeing the symbols. This time around I'm getting lucky. Always look below. There are sometimes secret areas in the lower parts of the towers that are, you know, will have a secret or have a have a, a blueprint. You know, you want to get blueprints, you want to unlock stuff. Don't worry about if you think the weapon's gonna be good or not. Unlock it. Unlock, you know everything you can do research and find out if there's you know better weapons than others i will say there are some good early weapons to unlock um that i can't remember in this moment but when i see them i'll let you know make us this one later on demand i gotta read some books for my daughter have a good day hey man you have some good quality time with your daughter enjoy that reading time because uh, that does not last forever enjoy it for sure and uh Glad you could join me, man, for at least a little bit. I'm really glad I didn't skip this stream because of your mic. Oh, is my mic not uh, picking up very well? Yeah, I don't know what it is about this this headset. Uh, it sometimes gives me issues. Now, sometimes there is an item either below or to the right, a secret platform. You don't always know which one it is. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this uh, headset. I'm not really doing anything crazy. It's a Sony headset, but I probably could use a different headset later on. Uh, so safe scumming is something that you can definitely do. That is a worthwhile venture if you're looking to make the most of your time. You can, of course, experiment and fight and die over and over again, but I prefer sometimes to save scum in order to save time. So you copy over your save so that you have a backup save, then you come back. And now we're going to see if the secret is to the right or below. And it might be neither, but we're going to find out. Oh, there it is, to the right. So you go down there and we get the nerves of steel. And so that's that. And it's just an invisible bridge, kind of like... Uh, the Last Crusade. Oh yeah, Onward. Is there an invisible bridge in Onward? Oh, right. That's right. Good call. Invisible bridge. Yep, I forgot about that. I guess that's a more modern example than Indiana Jones and... What? I don't like you. It's really hard to do that one when I don't have the wall climb. Alright, so you just want to get a lay of the land. Dodge, constantly be moving, don't stay still. Hey, we got our 60 kill streak. Fantastic. Keep the brutality going. Again, max out one only. You only go for the others if you don't have a choice. And always slam to the ground. You always want to get behind that guy. Um, is that all? No, no, I need to go up to the left. Uh, and again, if you're not sure when to dodge stuff, other than doing it over and over again to practice, you want to look for an exclamation mark. This is going to be the exit. We want to go here last. 
you'll you'll want to look for an exclamation mark that will indicate when to dodge or when to block. See the how he gave me the exclamation point, and then this guy too will come down here. Exclamation mark dodge. So you always want to keep an eye on the exclamation marks for the enemies so you know when to dodge. Uh, and like I'm doing, I'm throwing my uh, throwing my knife first, and then slashing to kind of give that extra extra damage. And what's nice about those these little whoops, uh, whatever they're called. What are they called? Throwing knives? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get it, buddy. See, you saw the little exclamation mark above. Now I can recycle this and get some gold coin. Fantastic. Got the Vorpan, which is still lower. Yep. Now one thing also you consider, you can look at the critical hit on this, but with the daggers I get 1804 two hits, and the thir third hit is a critical hit, but I have no idea what the power is on the third hit. It doesn't actually show me for some reason. That's kind of weird on the twin daggers. So the boar pan's not worth it, so we'll just recycle it. And we still can't cross those little pill... Um, we can't use those little teleporters, which is a bummer, but I gotta get used to it. This is actually my third time starting over the game. I played through the game twice already, uh, playing every BC um, for a Platinum Trophy. Yeah, on PlayStation, uh, the US and the um, EU version. And so now, playing through it a third time to help out some friends of mine that, you know, shout out to Hoffa and Ryan that really want to beat the game. And I guess now Brian, too, shout out to him who want to beat the game and uh, just can't do it. So they need a little some tips, need some help. And so I'm here to serve, here to help. And we got our 60 kill streak. Got some extra money, extra this, extra that. Uh, let's see. The Nutcracker. I still don't have a way to stun, freeze, or immobilize. I don't have a trap. I don't have any freezing. In Brutality, you're very unlikely to get freezing. The stun one, I don't have a stun weapon, so it's really not worth getting it. The ice grenade would be nice. This has double the damage and it also has perks for frozen and spreads inflammable oil, burns the victim. Yeah, we'll do that. And I still haven't gotten a second brutality right skill. But the trap, the... Oh, you know what? We're going to get it now. So we unlock some things. We're going to finally fill up our our stuff with what's useful. Now I I love the turret and all, but once you're going for a certain scroll color, you really need to stick to those items so as to maximize your hits. Uh, again, especially for those that aren't uh, that have trouble dodging and using the shield, definitely use the health flask. Unlock all those as they're available. Uh, gold reserves again are good. I'm going to do this one just to give me a little extra money at the beginning of each round. It's a little more, so I'm going to stop there. Um, I could. Yeah, let's just add a few to each of these. I will eventually want to unlock these so I can get a little variety. The starter bow and shield and weapon are not very good, but one that's very important is recycling. Getting that extra money. I don't really need to open these up yet. I'm going to do, I think, a purple or a green uh, playthrough after this one. So right now we're just focusing on brutality. Let me check, check to make sure my chat is working because in the past I'm in Brazil and my chat doesn't always work. So I have nothing good here. Uh, I don't have anything that, I mean, I guess I have the knives that required ammo. Um, hmm. I guess I could up the number of ammo I have if I really want to. It's not really uh, much that I need. I feel like it's too early for the dead inside. Uh, thanks, 
it's for uh, confirming that my chat does work. Uh, how's my mic doing? Is it still sound the same? Uh, or has it sounding any better? Um, I don't really know what I can do to improve my microphone on this headphone. Unfortunately, it's a wireless and uh, a, it doesn't have an extension to it, so it's internal. Uh, but, you know, just got to go with what works. Maybe I just need to charge it a little more. Okay, moving on. So we're going to do... Uh, you know what? I don't plan on getting hit all that much. Yeah, you're probably right. It is just the quality. I don't plan on getting hit that much, so I'm not going to worry about needing food. I'm going to do dead inside and just give that extra padding of my... And this is zero BC. I really don't need food. I can just get the money. All right, first boss coming up. Uh, this guy can be pretty... Well, he's easily the easiest boss. He's the first boss. But this guy can... He can get out of hand really quick because he has a damage aura that goes around you. Uh, I've played him a lot, so I don't find him to be all that difficult. But you might. So just keep your distance if you have any melee or anything until you don't. You know, you want to dodge around him when he throws stuff. When he throws stuff. Oh, watch out for the aura that comes around. Let's see if we can... Oh, nope, I got whacked. Ah! Yep, got him. When he jumps, be ready to dodge because it hurts pretty bad. Oh, there, see, that's what happens when you get caught in the aura. Well, no, no hit for me. Ooh, that was a fun little animation at the end. All right, beat him down. You do get the, uh, you do get a couple items. You get the flint. I got another fire grenade, which is not as good as the one I got in the door, so I can get rid of that. I'm still not immobilizing anything. I did pick up the daily challenge rune which daily challenge is good for practicing trying out uh, trying out new weapons uh, and then after um, I think after, through five or ten challenges you'll get two or three different items that you can use skills or unlocks blueprints and they're pretty good weapons so it's definitely worth doing the daily challenge for those items and then after that it's good to do it just for um, just for practice and trying out different items. So the Legendary Forge, very important. It helps you get better quality item drops. And uh, at the beginning of the game, I would say it's, you really wanna go 50-50. You wanna unlock items, but also put, put some cells little by little into this. Um, you're gonna get plus, 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 and then down here is S. Uh, you have on each BC a maximum amount of legendary forge upgrading you can do because you know you can't play zero BC and then have a bunch of S equipment from the get go. You have to spend money and upgrade it and that kind of stuff. Um, and so you have limitations, but with each BC, it, this ups the amount of percentage and the chance you have to get better quality items on dropped. Um, yeah, so you want to split probably 50%. 50% in the Legendary Forge, and then 50% in good old Collector over here to get new items. Right now, I don't have any items that I particularly want to show you that are that important. When we do our green playthrough, we'll definitely unlock some of these uh, items here. You know, if you still have cells, again, get recycling, gives you money. Eventually, work on the starter, random starters, and the, the basic stuff over here. So, now, sometimes... I'm not doing it now, but you can actually break this door down if you don't want to spend all your cells. Um, but that's up to you because you will end up losing them if you uh, die. And then reset mutations if you don't like what you have. I don't have many options, so I'm okay with it. And we're moving on from here. Busting down the door, there's still village is the one you can do. We still need a... Uh, a rune, the spider rune, to get up there. So we're going to move on to the Stilt Village. Good old Stilt Village. 
Now this dealt village is a very small biome, but it packs a hard punch, especially the pirate man that I don't remember the name of, pirate king, whatever. He is a pain, and he... Oh, they have these. These guys are also not very nice. Oh, yeah, I'm still getting used to the timing on that guy. So not a good start. Oh, yes, our favorite of everyone, the birds. The green birds are the worst. But yeah, I still haven't gotten the names of... Oh, that was not a good job. <laughs> Stilt Village. Yep, there's the pirate. He is the worst. You gotta hit him fast and hard or he will whack you. He has a melee attack that does some pretty good damage if you're not careful. Alright, we gotta up our game here. We're getting hit by stuff. And I gotta get my kill streak in order to open the door at the end. Okay, nothing here. Uh, yeah, so that top left guy, he can not only block, but he can swipe at you. And he's newer, a newer update. Uh, green, don't need it. That's a, uh, Wolf Trap is my favorite, but we're not doing a purple or green playthrough. What's what? The what thing? Yeah, I'm going in, buddy. I'm going to the door. So this one, you need keys in order to access areas. So see, this guy blocks a lot. You, if once you get him to, once you get him to start doing his animation for his teleport slash, he's hittable. But I just usually like to get behind him. Oh, did I miss the money in there? Oh, money. Oh, yeah, there's money right there. Good eye, son. Good eye, indeed. Alright. So, moving on to the next section. Busting down doors, taking names. There's a secret up above, but we can't get to it yet. Uh-huh. Alright, so we have an elite pirate, which is easily uh, a guy that could rock your world if you're not careful. So you want to make sure all... Oh, and there's two of them. Nice. Okay, we rocked them up. So they they always give, they always give little colors. Uh, amulets, which are very important. You want to get an amulet that has the color you're going for and yeah did I miss some money again where oh a money door yes thank you time to do the money door all right this is the food area this is a very important little door you will need this a lot throughout all your playthroughs um, because you will get hit here a lot. And I'm at 88%. I might as well. Oh, I'm a stupid head. I can't eat that. I got dead inside, silly. Why didn't you remind me? <laughs> no, there's nothing else in there, buddy. Alright, I'll go down to show you there's nothing else. Just the back of the entrance. Don't worry about it. All right, moving on. Clear out the next area. Yeah, and his little cannon, rolling cannonballs, definitely packs a punch. Not fun to meet those. Oops. That was a noob move. Oh, I just messed up. What do you, what do you mean, what's messed up? What's mess, messed up is when you messed up. Which is what I did. Oh, I can't see any of these guys. Little, little worms. Hard to see. 
Now, see that guy with a star? That means he has either an item or he has a uh, scroll. So we know we're going to get a special prize from him. And we got a scroll, which is definitely the preference. Because the faster you can up your power and HP, the better. Buddy, I'm not going to get the doors right away. I like to clear out the areas first, okay? And then I like to go through the doors. So we're going to clear out this area next. And I can't reach that. I can't go under there because of my lack of mobility. Sometimes you get a good angle and you can just exploit your your projectiles to oh to kill fools from afar and not have to worry about getting hurt. Because here they can't reach me. Now in later BCs. Alright. Enough shenanigans. Let's go get a treasure. Eat it. Thank you for reminding me, son. Alright, let's see what we got. We got the Vorpan, which gives you HP. Very nice. Hey, man, anytime. I will uh, try to keep going. Hopefully, your journey with Dead Cells continues. If you do have any questions in the future, see me on. Feel free to check me out. Hopefully, my mic will work better in the future, but no promises. <laughs> I'll do my best with what I got. And definitely invest a better mic in the future. Check you later. Alright, where am I going? I'm lost! Where am I going? I'm gonna go... I've already gone in that door, right James? Yep. I have. I think I need to do the key. Uh, I haven't done this one, so there's a little shop inside. Gonna check that out. See what's going on. Anything good? We have, let's see, it's only one better. It does give slightly better stats, but nothing crazy good. And then how about this one? Spread some flammable oil, 100% on poison. Uh, what do I have that poisons? The dagger does poison. But this one burns when they die. I already have a burning grenade. And so... Oh, but that one's... The one I have is plus, so... I do not want to switch that. I want the one that's plus, I think. Mm, decisions, decisions. It does It has lower damage, too. Alright, so it's not worth it. It's not... Really, when you go to the shop, you always want to save the shops till last. Uh, once you're at the end of a level. Because you don't know what you're going to run into or collect along the way. Uh, and you don't want to waste the money because you can usually save your money for uh, upgrading the weapons you have uh. got got whacked there I wasn't quick enough I forget how the daggers have a little bit of a limitation in reach for my taste, but you get there eventually. All right. So we've cleared this area and we're moving on to the next area, probably the next area. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to just uh, have some breakfast with the family. But the next area is a fun one. The clock tower has lots of traps, lots of baddies. And what's good also about uh, one last note is with the kill streak, once you reach the kill streak, even if you get hit, you still have access to it. So you can see below I have two 
I have a two hit two kill streak without getting hit, but I had already crossed the 60 mark, so it keeps it. And so that is always a good thing. So we do have the electric whip, which is nice. Uh, the blood sword. We already have bleeding and fire covered, so one thing we're going to want to keep track of is like with this blood sword, you have decent DPS. Um, bleeding and then also extra damage based on burning 30% extra damage which is nice this one gives uh, 100 poison we don't really have much of anything that is a whole lot better that one's pretty good and that one so this fire grenade gives plus 60% damage to bleeding which is much better than the one we have so we're gonna do that uh, so when you look at what we got here we have a knife that causes bleeding damage and then we have a fire grenade which gives 60 percent damage to bleeding so if we lead the way with a knife throw our fire grenade will cause 60 percent more damage now in order to progress through this game and do lots of damage you have to pay attention to those details so make sure that you get your weapons to match up like that at some point you don't have to do it right away but you do have to keep it in mind the higher you go and we're reaching levels where we want to definitely keep things headed in that direction again I don't need to unlock any of these right now um, I don't really need them I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spread it out kind of unlock a little bit here and there um, we'll get this one to 30 30 30 60 60 90 I want to unlock recycling sooner rather than later to get maximize money and here we go this is our good friend the miner forge so with the miner forge you can plus plus you can take your weapons to the next level now if I do this one I will get two scrolls to use s level x quality weapons gives you two scrolls of a variety of kinds and then plus plus gives you one scroll now because this is a only level two dagger a two quality dagger I don't really want to s quality because I'll probably find a better melee weapon before and however I have a four and I have a six and I have a seven most likely my best choice is going to be to up the one that I'm not going to replace anytime soon in this case it would be the fire grenade and so we up that and now we have a uh, one plus one brutality scroll we still have the bleeding we got added frozen and poison damage and so that was a good choice now if you don't like what you get before you upgrade you can save scum which will give you a different upgrade each time which I, I highly recommend if you're just wanting to experiment and try to match up things in a better way and as we get a little further on and have more options available to us I'll show you that more closely so you can see how that works but for now let's go to the next area we'll save and quit and uh, be done for today Hmm. Can't access that yet. Alright, so we'll put out. Go and copy our save just to have a backup. And then go from there. Ah, Fluxel. How are you doing, my friend? I'm sorry to say you came right at the tail end of my uh, stream. But you, uh, if you're, a, are you a dead, dead cell player yourself? Yeah, I know, good timing, right? How is it going in your neck of the woods in uh, Chicago, right? And uh, of course I see your name, but I know your name's Adam. And uh, I have to remind myself, not yet. Well, uh, I've done now two tutorial-like playthroughs of Dead Cells, not playthroughs, but sessions. I started yesterday and I've done it today. They're, this one's about 45 minutes long, the other's 30 minutes long. Uh, when you're gonna play, make sure to check that out. And, uh, you know, get a little heads up on tips and tricks and that kind of thing. I'm going to be playing a little more often over the next few weeks. So feel free to join me anytime. I'm going to go have breakfast with the kids. Um, but yeah, so just want to throw that out there. Thanks, Bam, for joining me for the last couple minutes of the stream. I hope you and your family are uh, doing well. Doing as good as can be expected here. I can understand that. 
Uh, but yeah, thanks, man. You enjoy your weekend as well and all the adventures that you'll be doing. I'll be talking at you later, buddy. And uh, since I already have you here, thanks for your support, not just in being on the stream, but uh, for me as a missionary. So appreciate the prayers and, and all that jazz. So, all right, man, I'm going to head out. Good, good seeing you, talking with you. And uh, you have a good weekend, buddy.